Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video we're going to learn how to paint gold. And this video is part of a digital art course that I designed as a month-long YouTube series, so it is totally free. And you can definitely watch only this one specific video if all you care about is how to paint gold. Or you can take on the challenge of improving our art skills by drawing along with the community every day. And if you want to do that, make sure to check out my website where the full schedule for the entire challenge is going to be. And also make sure to subscribe as well as ring the bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming textures that are going to be part of this course. All you need for this tutorial is some sort of a digital art software and I will be using Procreate on the iPad Pro. But you can definitely use pretty much anything that has layers in it. So Photoshop, Corel Painter, Krita, Affinity Designer. Honestly, most mainstream and not even like that mainstream <laughs> digital art software uh, will do for this tutorial. I will be suggesting just really basic digital art brushes. So basically the one that come with your software, they're definitely going to work. And I will also include a free color palette in the description below, but otherwise you can pick your own colors if that's more what you're into. And if you are watching this video in uh, the course, you also need to set aside, I would say 15 to 25 minutes, depending whether you're on day 22 or 23 of the program. And with that being said, let's start drawing. So the first thing you will want to do is to create a new canvas and the size is totally up to you depending on what you're using this illustration for. If you're just practicing, I recommend something like 2000 per 2000 pixels. I also recommend setting your background to a neutral color if you're just practicing. So if you have the color palette, any of the grays on the right hand side are neutral grays. Otherwise you just pick a gray <laughs> that you like. And we're then going to create a few layers that are going to help us kind of set up the base of our gold. So the first that you're going to create is actually going to be called base. You're then going to create another layer on top and this one is going to be a clipping mask and you're going to rename it to shadows. And the great thing about clipping mask is everything you're going to draw on this layer is going to stay within the shape of the layer below it, so the base layer. So you don't have to worry about, you know, erasing everything or staying within the line. The software is going to take care of that for you. You're then going to create a new layer, which is also a clipping mask. This one is going to be renamed to reflections and you're going to change the blending mode to multiply. The next layer you're going to create is going to be renamed to lights. It is also a clipping mask, but this one, the blending mode is going to be normal, you're just going to lower the opacity around 60%. The next layer is also a clipping mask. It is renamed to scratches, <laughs> whatever I'm, I'm writing there. <laughs> and this one, the blending mode is also going to be normal, but you're going to lower the opacity somewhere between 30 and 40%, but we're going to tweak that later. So don't worry about it too much now. And with those layers ready, go back to your base layer and we're going to sketch or I should say draw a solid shape that is going to be the silhouette of the object you want to paint. And this solid shape is going to be kind of a light burnt orange. And you can draw it using pretty much any brush. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that it is a solid shape. If you are following the course and you are on day 22nd, so the first day of gold, it is going to be a circle because we're going to draw a sphere. Otherwise, it's going to be whatever you want to paint. Once you have your main shape, go ahead and set your shadow layer as well as a very soft brush. So either the soft brush from Procreate or any kind of super gentle round brush that comes with your software. And with a darker version of your, your burnt orange, so like a proper burnt orange this time, you're going to softly lay down your shadows. The thing with gold is you want to make sure that they're soft. <laughs> uh, gold is reflective but not super crazy reflective like the shiny metal um, from the past tutorial which i really recommend you watch because some of the techniques are are similar so that could be helpful and you really want to make sure that yes your shadows are very visible but you also want to make sure that they are fairly soft so it might be a case of kind of alternating between the paintbrush and a soft eraser just to make sure that everything is smooth and nice and clean. We're then going to ramp up the contrast by selecting a super dark brown now that is also very saturated and warm. And we're just going to, still with the same brush, kind of darken the edges of our object or of our sphere. So not in 
like not a lot of surface is going to be covered in the step but it's also going to really help uh, make your your piece feel super two-dimensional and also just make it it's gonna help make it feel like gold later in the process you're gonna see so don't be afraid of this step it might look a little bit weird and it might feel a bit weird but believe me do it and you won't regret it at the end if you stick around of course until the end of the video and at this step you might also want to use the smudge tool which is this like a little finger icon uh, that comes with most digital art software again and i'm using the stucco brush for for procreate but that's just kind of my regular smudge tool brush uh, it doesn't really matter you can use pretty much any one that you're used to that's probably going to work just fine for this step because all you want to do is blend everything in just a tiny little bit more before moving on so once you're happy with your shadows go ahead and select your uh, reflections layer and as opposed to the shiny metal, reflections are pretty much going to be the same color as your base. Um, they're not really going to be the color of the environment. It's mostly going to be the shapes of, of your environment that are going to be reflected just in the, in the same color of your gold. Um, so since we don't have really an environment here, just go ahead and draw some sort of blobby shape in the middle of your sphere of your object. But if you had, I don't know, like a like a dog staring at a piece of gold for some reason, you would kind of draw a dub, a dog silhouette in your gold or whatever else <laughs> is around your gold in this step. We're also going to add some very basic lights in this step. So for that, go ahead and select a super bright orange and you're gently going to brush again, still with your soft brush, you're gently going to brush a little section on Kind of the side where your your light source is so here i'm imagining that my light source is on the top left but it could be somewhere else for you and you're then going to select a super bright banana yellow type of color and you're going to highlight the center of this of uh, this zone that you just created uh, with your bright orange so it's kind of two levels of lights basically at this stage we're going to add more later believe me but for now that's, that's what we're doing and you can again use your smudge tool to make sure everything is blended in very nicely or you could skip straight up to the next step if you're satisfied with your blending so far. Depending on the age you want your gold to be and kind of the state you want it to be, you might want to add some scratches. So if you do, this is where we're going to do it, otherwise you can skip ahead in the video. If you do want to have some scratches, go back to your burnt orange and draw some little lines, some dents um, over your piece to give it a little bit more of an interesting feel. So again, this step is totally optional, but in my opinion, it makes such a big difference in making the piece feel more realistic. And you can also go back to your bright banana color and kind of outline the scratches and the dents to make them pop a little bit more. Uh, but again, that's that's optional. You could just stop with uh, the darker scratches if you want something super subtle. Otherwise, it's a really cool look, I feel, to outline them with a brighter color and it takes just a few more seconds. So definitely experiment with that. It's probably going to add a lot to your piece, um, even if you keep it super, super subtle like I am right now. But if you want a really old piece of gold, it's the same technique. You would just up the opacity of this scratch layer to more than like 50%. It would probably be more like 80 or 90%. Great. So at this stage, we're actually going to add a few more layers. And on these layers, we're actually going to create a bunch of effects that are going to make this thing look like gold. Because right now, it doesn't really look like gold. So go ahead and create another layer. This is also a clipping mask. This one, you're going to rename it to Highlights 1 not seven one there we go <laughs> and we're going to change the blending mode of this one to overlay the next layer you're going to create is also going to be a clipping mask this one you're going to rename to reflected lights and the blending mode is going to stay normal you're just going to lower the opacity a little bit so somewhere around like 80 percent or 90 percent, something like that the next layer you're going to create is also going to be a clipping mask. This one you are going to rename to um, extra warmth. 
<laughs> Bear with me. That's going to make sense later. And you're going to change the blending mode of this one to color dodge. And you're also going to lower the opacity quite a lot. So this one's probably going to be somewhere around 30 to 40 percent. You're then going to create another layer, also a clipping mask. And this one is going to be renamed to highlights two. And the blending mode of this one, you're going to set to add. Or actually, no, you know what? Keep it to normal. You're just going to lower the opacity around 70%. And the last layer we're going to create is going to be a layer called drop shadow. This one, you're going to want to put it below everything. So below your base. And it is not a clipping mask because, I mean, it is below the base. So there's no point in creating a clipping mask. And the blending mode of this one, you're going to set either to linear burn or multiply. And you're going to want to lower the opacity around 80%. Great. So going back to your highlight layer, you're going to select a super bright yellow and still your same soft brush. And you're going to add a fairly small, so like a spot, a very, very bright light on one little part of your gold. And as opposed to the shiny metal, your edges are probably going to be fairly soft because gold is not like as shiny as like the mirror <laughs> that we were basically drawing last time. So the highlight is going to be way softer and just rounder in general. Once that is done, go ahead and select your reflected lights layer, as well as like a super bright orange type of color. Um, and you can still have the same soft brush. That's pretty much the only one we're going to be using in this tutorial. And all you're going to do is you're going to draw kind of the reflection of the surface that your, your metal or your gold is resting on. So to do that, go ahead and on the bottom part, just draw this really nice reflected light, making sure that you leave some sort of a gap. So you don't want your reflected light to actually touch the edge of your object. You want to make sure that you see a little bit of a shadow. And don't be afraid to really make it pop. I think it's nice to have it fairly thin, but it's also nice to have it really bright as well. We're also going to add some reflected lights on both sides of our object. And these reflected lights are actually going to be like right along the edge. So as opposed to the bottom one, you're not going to leave any gap at all. And you might have noticed that everything about gold is warm. So you have warm shadows, you have warm lights, but we're going to add even more warmth. So select your extra warmth layer and a super bright orange. And you're going to brush over some of your lights. So as you can see here, this kind of adds this super bright and warm uh, tone to everything. And if you just brush it very gently, you need to be super careful to not overdo it. But if you brush it over some of your lighter sections, so the reflected light, the highlights, it's going to make everything look like gold. So that's definitely kind of like a little secret pro tip just for you. Another secret pro tip is if you're on your highlight layer number two, you can select some sort of a super bright blue color, which I know I said everything about gold is warm, but when you have really, really bright highlights, sometimes they almost look blue to the eye. And that's kind of an optical illusion. Basically, it's just the way our eye cannot just perceive massively bright lights. So this is a way to trick the viewer into perceiving that this area is actually super bright. The last little thing we're going to do is add a drop shadow. So on your drop shadow layer with the same soft brush and with a like gray type of color, you're just going to draw basically the light or the shadow, I should say, that your object would be casting on the ground or the surface below it. So in this case, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because we're drawing it just like in a random gray area or um, background, I should say. But if you're drawing in context, this is definitely a step that you need to do. Otherwise, it's going to look like your object is floating in the air, which is not necessarily what we're going for. Or it might be. I don't know. Um, who am I to judge? <laughs> So anyway, this was how to draw gold in pretty much any design or digital art software. 
If you are following the program, make sure to come back to this video tomorrow for day 23, where we're going to use the same technique, so the same steps, but this time you're going to draw, instead of a sphere, you're going to draw an object, so to practice gold in context. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos like this one every week, especially during the month of January, where we're going to cover a total of 13 different textures spread across five teams. So make sure not to miss that and I will see you soon.